breaking. Nigerian security challenges beyond federal government. Lawan, welcome to today's news. Senate President Ahmed Lawan has cried out that the prevailing security challenges facing the country should not be left for the federal government alone. Noting that the festering crisis requires a holistic action plan by all component units of the federation. He lamented that the sentiment of politics, ethnicity, and religion have combined to hold the country's spell bound under the vice grip of insecurity and urge stakeholders to be in the vanguard of finding a permanent solution to the problem. Lawan spoke in Oyo, the Akwaibom state capital, on Tuesday when Governor Hudom Emanuel led him to Ikot Ekwene local government area where he commissioned a section of the Uyo Ikot Ekmene Dual Carriageway left by the administration former governor Godwill Akpabiu at 20% completion, while underscoring the importance of national unity and cohesion, the Senate president noted that the task of eliminating insecurity in the polity must be borne not only by the federal government but by other subnational bodies, including state and local governments, no matter which political party controls the state. All ends must be on deck. We need all these tiers of government to deal with security challenges facing the country. What is required is honesty and sincerity in leadership. The time has come for all the political leaders, irrespective of their political learning to savage to savage the various issues facing Nigeria because when we hold our hands together we can stop insecurity in our nation is stressed. He commended Governor Udom Emmanuel for shelving the sentiment of political party in his commitment to development including the completion of the Uyu Ikot Ekpene Federal Road assuring that he would impress it on the Federal Ministry of Works to refund cash expended on the road to the state government. He disclosed that such refunds had been made to some states, including Rivers, which he said recently received seven billion as part of refund for. The central government, he added, would push for the contractor handling the road to return to the site in order to complete the section connecting the Ecot Ekwene axis to Aba in Abia State. Earlier, Governor Emmanuel, while welcoming the Senate President to the state, solicited his assistance to impress it on the federal government to make more reforms for fixing some federal roads in Akwaiba. President Mahmoud Buhari Friday at State House Abuja urged the MTN Group to make the available top of the range services to its Nigerian subscribers. Senate President Ahmad Lawan has cried out that the prevailing security challenges facing the country should not be left out for the federal government alone, noting that the first train crisis requires a holistic action plan by all component units of the federation. He lamented that the sentiment of politics, ethnicity, and religion have combined to hold the country spellbound under the vice grip of insecurity and urged stakeholders to be in the vanguard of finding a permanent solution to the problem. Lawan spoke in Huyu, the Aqua Ibom state capital, on Tuesday when Governor Udon Emmanuel led him to Ikot Ekmene local government area, where he commissioned a section of the Uyo Ikot Ekmene dual carriageway left by the administration former Governor Godwill Akwabiu at 20% completion. While underscoring the importance of national unity and cohesion, the Senate President noted that the task of eliminating insecurity in the polity must be borne not only by the federal government but by other subnational bodies, including state and local governments, no matter which political party controls the state. All land must be on desk. We need all the tiers of government to deal with security challenges facing the country. What is required is honesty and sincerity in leadership. The time has come for all the political leaders, irrespective of their political leanings, to salvage the various issues facing Nigeria. Because when we hold our hands together, we can stop and we can stop insecurity in our nation is stressed. He commended Governor Udon Emmanuel for shelving the sentiment of political party in his commitment to development, including the completion of the Uyo Ikot Ekwene Federal Road, 
assuring that it would impress it on the Federal Ministry of Works to refund cash expended on the road to the state government. He disclosed that such refunds had been made to some states, including Rivers, which he said recently received $7 billion as part of the refund for. The central government, he added, would push for the contractor, adding the road to return to the site in order to complete the section connecting the Ecot Equine Axis to Aba in Abia State, earlier Governor Emmanuel, while welcoming the Senate President to the state, solicited his assistance to impress it on the federal government to make more reforms for fixing some federal roads in Akwai Ibo. Here I have a few comments here. My, form, my comment here, my first comment. Lawan spoke in Uyu, the Akwaibom state capital, on Tuesday when Governor Udom Emmanuel led him to Ikot Ekwene local government area where he commissioned a section of the Uyo Ikot Ekwene dual carriageway left by the administration former Governor Godswill Akwabu at 20% completion. He commanded Governor Udom Emmanuel for shelving the sentiment of political party in his commitment to development including the completion of the Uyo Ikot Ekwene Federal Road, assuring that it would impress it on Federal Ministry of Works to refund cash expended on the road to the state government. The state, the central government, he added, would push for the contractor handling the road to return to the site in order to complete the section connecting the Ikot Ekwene access to Aba, Aba in, in Abia State. He lamented that the sentiment of politics, ethnicity, and religion have combined to hold the country spellbound under the vice group of insecurity and urge stakeholders to be in the vanguard of finding a permanent solution to the problem. Senate President Ahmed Lawan has cried out that the prevailing security challenges facing the country should not be left for the federal government alone, noting that the first train crisis requires a holistic action plan by all component units of the federation while underscoring the importance of national unity and coercion the senate president noted that the task of eliminating insecurity in the polity must be borne not only by the federal government but by other subnational bodies including state and local governments no matter which political party controls the state all lands must be on desk. We need all the tasks of government to deal with security challenges facing the country. What is required is honesty and sincerity in leadership. The time has come for all political leaders, irrespective of their political leanings, to salvage the various issues facing Nigeria. Because when we hold our ends together, we can stop insecurity in our nation. Now we've come to the end of today's news. Thanks for listening.